What is going on YouTube and Yash Reloaded? My name is Solifts. So yes, that Blackout commentator. And today I decided to do a best class setup for the new game mode on Black Ops 2 Arms Race. So lately, uh, once the game mode came out, I've been saying a lot of people have been complaining about what is the best class setup for this game mode. What type of perk should I use? What type of uh, temperature should I use for my guns? Or what gun should I use? And things like that. And you wouldn't really think that people would be asking about this type of stuff on a game mode that really helps you get a high score streak. But you gotta kind of understand that not all classes work on the same game mode or um, every game mode. Um, it's just like if you have a class set up for ground war, it doesn't mean it's gonna work on search and destroy or capture the flag. So I'm gonna show you guys my best class set up for this game mode. I mean, I shared this with some of my friends and they said that ever since they used this class, they've been getting tons of kills, tons of high score streaks. And even for me, I've been getting nothing but swarms, K9 units, and over the V setups and you know, low stars and etc. So let's just get started. I'm also gonna give you guys a gameplay of this class as well, just to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so first you want to create a class and then for my primary I have my MSMC. You can also use the PDW57 or the MP7, but I really suggest you use the MSMC. So um if you notice I took off my lethals and tacticals and secondary because I really don't need it. Um, trust me, you would think you need it, but as I said, in some game modes, you just don't need some things. So, I took it out for an extra attachment and also an extra perk. So, for my attachments, I have the FMJ, Force Grip, and Fast Mags. Now, for the Force Grip, you can kind of switch it out for a laser sight or also a quick draw of stock. But, um, I really don't need it. Trust me, um, you'll see why. So, then, I just kept Force Grip. But as I said before, you can always switch it up if you want. It's optional, but for me, I'm just going to keep it. Now, for my perks, I have Hardline and Lightweight. Lightweight is because um, basically you're going to be moving around a lot. It's no sitting down waiting for kills because, as I said, uh, with this game mode, it's first come, first serve. Whoever has the highest score streak, whoever gets it first, that's the team that's going to win. So make sure you have it on Lightweight because you want to move around. Trust me, you want to move around as much as you can and get as much kills as you can possibly. So, um, next I have Hardline, and the reason why you want Hardline is because the game will already give you the score streak two times faster, so might as well get Hardline to make you get it four times as fast. So, definitely put on Hardline, I mean, you're going to get your score streak even faster than what the game helps you get it. Um, it's a must, trust me, that's how I keep getting all my score streaks so fast and getting up to a K9 unit or Swarm. So, next I have um, Scavenger for my second perk. Now, Sometimes you don't need scavenger. Sometimes you might just need toughness. It kind of goes in between because sometimes I might not use all my bullets, and sometimes I just might, you know, spray my life off and just run out of bullets. I mean, it just happens at times, but most of the time I keep it on scavenger because I don't always get in gunfights. But you know, you might be the type of person that get in gunfights, so I really suggest you put it on toughness if you're that type of person that doesn't use a lot of bullets. But for me, um, yeah, I use a lot of bullets. Now for the my third perk, um, sometimes I have it on extreme condition, but for this time I have it on dexterity, and you know you always want to hurry up and you know, since I said before you're gonna be moving a lot, you always want to hurry up and aim faster after sprinting, and you want to be climbing. So I mean, if somebody might be shooting at you, you must get away fast, and so that's why I really suggest you put it on dexterity, or you can have it on extreme condition. They both work well. Alright, so that's basically my class setup for arms race. Hopefully it works for you. And I'm going to show you guys a gameplay. Alright, so I'm back with this live gameplay commentary that I said I was going to do with this best class setup. So we're about to get ready to play on Newtown 2025. And during this gameplay, I'm just going to give you guys some tips on what you should and should not do during this um, game mode. Alright, so I'm just going to say that sometimes I might be pausing during this gameplay. That's because uh, sometimes I be inside, so into the game that... Um, you know, I'm really trying to get this kill or if I'm trying to get a kill or, you know, something like that, I might just stop talking. So if that happens, don't mind it. But I will say that I'm not promising that I will get a high score streak, but I should at least get my over the V setter. If not that, maybe a low star. But, um, hopefully I can't get my K9 unit and all my other score streaks. So the number one thing you don't really want to do in the game mode, in this game mode, is you really don't want to rush. Trust me, rush can, um, be very bad. And most of the times when you're rushing, you're you got a 75% chance of dying right at the beginning. Like it's it's not really good to um, just rush right off the bat. So what you want to do is you just want to play it safe. You just want to play smart. 
and you know wait for the enemy team to come to you and sometimes you'll be surprised like you can have five enemies come to you like within the first 30 seconds of the game and that go five kills already so um it's all it's always about playing it smart being cautious about everything and that's the next tip it's all um about playing smart when you're playing smart you're basically being cautious about your surroundings um you know you're looking at your map all the time you're you know you every time you about to go inside a room or turn a corner you're thinking about how many enemies can be around this corner or inside this room or if there's a bouncy beta waiting on me or play more you know traps and things like that so it's always good to think about things like that because you never know what can be around this corner so right now I just killed the guy I'm just you know looking back and forth I'm not just gonna and I'm gonna kill this guy right here because I just seen him so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay down right here because I don't think none of them know I'm gonna be right here so that's what I'm talking about you don't wanna sit in one spot for so long sometimes it's not good sometimes you can get you killed and since I see a Oh, oh my gosh, I don't know how I killed that guy. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. Oh my gosh, it can be a win-win situation. I can win, I can lose, I can die. And, uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. <laughs> I hope I do not die. Please don't let me die. Yes, I got my over the v Santa. So that's what I'm looking for right now. I should be doing some work, hopefully. Um, most of the time I do do some work. And I killed that guy right there. So yeah, I'm doing some work right now, as you can see. Um... I'm really going ham on these kids. And basically, I should be having a good gameplay. If not, the best. And already, I got my K9 use. So as I said, this you know this class is really good. And right now, I'm about to die. Let me just kill this guy. So, um, I'm about to let out the over the V setup. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying, it's all about playing it safe sometimes. Um, you know, all it takes is just to take time. You just got to sit back and... You know, just play the game. It's, you don't have to really rush as you just. So I would just send in a spawn, and I would just basically take them out one by one. And that's all it takes. So right now, my K9 units is just doing work. I mean, I don't even have time to even get a kill with this uh, low star. I'm surprised they haven't spawned on this side yet. Oh, there they go. So this guy, he's guy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm missing this guy. So this guy's trying to take me out. They all going inside the building. But they can't hide from the K9 units. Yep, I see him. He thought he could hide. He couldn't. So yeah, oh, uh, there we go. I already got 23 and 1. Oh, he would kill me. So, basically this, to me, is the best class setup. As I said before, I said I didn't know if I was going to get this K9 unit or not. I mean, it was just, uh, I was just hoping to get it, and I did. So it's all about playing it safe. It's always about playing it smart. You need to use everything to your advantage. You need to use your teammates. And by teammates, I mean you can use your teammates as bait. You can basically make them, um, you know, take take the risk of them dying instead of you. And that's what I like to do a lot. I like to use my teammates as bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit and wait. I mean, I'm not really rushing. And there it goes. So, yeah, I don't know if you heard that door close right there. <laughs> that was my mom coming in. But, yeah, um, I went 24-3, and 3, which is not a bad gameplay at all. Uh, my ratio is 8.00. So, that's basically it for the best class setup for arms race. I hope this gameplay or this class setup really helps you out a lot in these tips. So, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. Also, come to my channel. Uh, if you want to see some more live gameplay commentaries or some tips about Black Ops 2. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button as I said before. So I am out. Peace.